Okay, um, all these exercises are going to be done on hands and knees or downward dog. So they should all be good. I just want to make sure it's good. Now I'm coming down in downward dog. And I'm just going to hold that. You can do this on the rebounder or off the rebounder. Um, it just works me a little bit harder on the rebounder. Um, okay, now I'm coming back down to my knees. And I'm doing it singly, singly. leg back and hold it. Um, keep your core engaged and your glutes engaged too while you do these. Um, so I'm just holding that back and then I'm going to switch to the other side and hold that. Okay, you're going to bring your knee out and just hold that. You're just going to hold that near your elbow and just hold that. Keep your core engaged while you do it. And then I'm just going to switch to the other side. be another downward dog you're gonna come up and bring your front leg up high and then hold that and then you're gonna come back down rest for just a second and then come back up you should still you feel that in your core this is gonna work your upper body your core and your legs Stretch your back up, keep your abdominals engaged. 
always going to keep your glutes engaged too. That'll work a little bit more deeply in your muscles. Now we're going to switch to the other side, we're going to come up and bring your back leg up and then hold it and then come down. to 
be bringing my back leg all the way over toward the TV and then hold it and then bring my knee in and towards my elbow and then hold that. hands and knees we're going to be doing what I call the happy puppy but I'm doing it very slow and controlled. I'm just swinging my hips one side and then the other but you do it slow and controlled. That's going to really work your core area. Always keep your core engaged and your glutes tight as tight as you can when you're doing these um, workouts to make them the most effective. Use your time wisely when you're doing these type of workouts. of the rebounder and I'm stretching the back. You don't have, if you're not on a rebounder, I'm not. You can do this, but you want to get the full effect because I'm pulling back on the rebounder. Now we're just going to be moving our up and down, just a really slight pulse. You're going to be really working your core. I think if you use a rebounder, it'll be much more beneficial. You'll work your core more because you're holding on to the rim and you're able to come up and down. It's just, that's just my opinion. Okay, I'm coming in down with dog with my legs apart, as far apart as I can. I'm holding that, and then I'm going to bring my hands down toward my feet, and, and I'm just going to do a very slight um, side to side motion with my knee. It's not really a lunge, it's just subtle. So you work with your abs with this. We're almost finished.
part as well as I can, just holding that tight before we're done. We're almost done. Oh, that's not 